my disclosure and uh, the pedal plant or loop technique has been uh, invented uh, in my department in 2005, published in 2006. And this is the original publication it was included in most of the technique currently used for foot and uh, leg arteries reverse scolarization. So uh, the rationale, because there is a rationale for using this technique is well known, previously cited by uh, the colleague that is uh, since uh, uh, 1993 it was known that up to 50% major amputation is found even in presence of a patent femme uh, distal bypass if the artery feeding the wound is not directly perfused, particularly in diabetic subject, and the reason for the phenomena is the plantar arch interruption. So the importance of this finding is uh, well known and uh, but we should also face with the phenomena named uh, functional and artery uh, in diabetes native and stomatic arteries like the plantar arch turn into functional end arteries due to poor collateral formation as reported by many papers in the recent past so uh, finally, we have a solution, uh, the loop technique, uh, endovascular recanalization or reconstruction, plantar arch reconstruction that has a indication that are very common. Um, patient with a CLI, ischemic foot or risk of limb loss, including cases with a patent fem distal bypass and non-healing plantar or ill wounds are common indication. We are two types of the procedure to perform. Uh, type A, in which the plantar arch uh, uh, reconstruction alone uh, we perform, and type B, uh, in which is included the recanal retrograde recanalization of uh, one of the two tibial arteries. So this is the anatomy that everybody knows about the true anastomotic arch named the plantar arch. The deep plantar is the connection between the dorsalis pedis and the major, the plantar named the lateral plantar artery. So we should be familiar when uh, dealing with this uh, possible option. So uh, type A procedure is the most used to create a retrograde perfusion and the type B is a less frequently used uh, even if it's uh, the most effective because of the technique uh, challenging uh, aspect. But before approaching technique we should emphasize uh, some differences that we face every day between DMA. DMA is uh, uh, the diabetic macroangiopathy that is uh, the pathology commonly affected the leg and foot arteries in diabetic cases to the left and to the right common atherosclerosis. The differences are uh, many including the, uh, the, the, the position of the uh, calcification in the media but what is important for us to realize is that in this kind of subject we have a very raw intima. So the reason why is that uh, the, this is the reason why we decide to use a very hydrophilic wire to cross the intraluminally the plantar arch to perform the loop technique recanalization, differently from the right side where the, there is a smooth uh, uh, intima in the regular atherosclerotic uh, uh, lesions. General cross recommendation are please adopt the anti-grade ipsilateral approach and try to cross the uh, arch intraluminal first. So careful cross uh, using the highly steerable hydrophilic uh, coronary wire that has the highest chance to succeed. And less steerable, like nitinol uh, uh, hydrophilic wire, are uh, uh, sometimes dangerous because it can dissect the plantar arch with the bad consequences, as you can imagine, particularly in case of very calcified artery. Specific crossing characteristics are represented by our guiding catheter, that is a, a regular full French bursting. Our probing wire, that is a regular 014 LLT wire. 
and uh, the PD graphics uh, super support uh, that is uh, my preferred guy why because a stiff stainless steel very hydrophilic very steerable and very resistant and the crossing devices uh, in my case is represented by a balloon a deflated uh, um, 2 by 80 uh, over the wire inferior dip this is an example of a patient with the ulcerated uh, anterope lateral posterior aspect of the leg. The uh, angiography showed that the corresponding roughly artery according to angiosome there is the anterior tibia that was occluded with a long diffuse stenosis of the opposite artery. So what happened? We moved from the posterior tibia with the pedigraphic super support that was advanced up gradually to reach in uh, the subintimal uh, fashion the origin of the anterior tibial artery so this is a type 2 procedure so we converted the, the uh, retrograde into antegrade and we proceed for the uh, complete uh, balloon uh, prolonged balloon dilatation uh, and this is the result of uh, in after less than two months the ulcer was largely reduced and case number two uh, a big uh, plantar ulceration that uh, was uh, uh, justified by the occlusion of uh, most of the tibial artery, particularly in the proximal uh, anterior and along the posterior, and the arch was also interrupted. The procedure started from the uh, posterior tibial, and we crossed the, the plantar quite easily. The wire moved up to reopen completely uh, both arteries and this is the result after three months. The last case is uh, quite complex because the diagnosis was not really precise, probably was a Burger disease in a tree uh, in a relatively young women with the very painful uh, ill ulceration. So uh, it was impossible, of course, to approach the posterior tibial artery from above, and the decision was to use the type B procedure, type B loop procedure from the anterior tibial, and the wire was advanced the hub to reopen the posterior tibial, and uh, the uh, opening was converted into the uh, anti-grade by a simple technique using the uh, Bernstein and the LLT uh, 35 guide wire. This approach may appear complex, but because adopting the anti gray femoral approach, everything became easier. I strongly adv uh, advise you to uh, be familiar with the anti grade approach. And this is what happened after the uh, procedure was accomplished with the prolonged balloon dilatation. And the final angiogram is as you can see. Uh, my conclusions in diabetes and native anastomotic arteries, uh, otherwise named the uh, uh, plantar arch, in this case, turn into functional end arteries. This condition is unable to collateralize the occlusion of even a single tibial artery. And this technique is a virtual, well established. Uh, endovascular solution with no or few uh, surgical alternative. Thank you for your attention.